Hello everyone, this is Refresh and I'm here to bring you a look at Mayday Games' premium card game sleeves for cards size 80mm by 120mm. These sleeves are clear and they retail at $3.50. For that $3.50 you get 50 sleeves and that is an average of 7 cents per sleeve. This puts it right in the middle range of costs per sleeve and we will see if we are getting a middle range performance. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have inside. As you can see, the sleeves are smooth and glossy on both sides. Now let's count to make sure that there are 50 sleeves here. All right, there are exactly 50 sleeves here. Now, let's check the thickness. These sleeves are one centimeter thick, which means that each sleeve is 200 microns thick or 100 microns each face, which is the standard for most thicker, more rigid sleeves. Now let's check the dimensions. These sleeves are 82 millimeters wide by 122 millimeters tall. This is in keeping with the size of the Magnum soft sleeves. So everything is as we expect with Mayday Games. Now to see how a card fits, I have one Dixit card here, which is the most common card of this size. And as you can see, it fits just fine. There is very little extra play on the edge and not a lot of space between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. As you can see, there, because of the lack of space between the opening and the top edge of the card, the top of the sleeves remain fairly open when the card is loose, meaning that it doesn't really offer that much protection to the top edge of the card, but I guess some protection is better than no protection. Now it's time for the sleeving test. I'm going to sleeve these 45 Dixit cards in 45 of these sleeves and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> It took two minutes and 11 seconds to sleeve these 45 cards. And that is a pretty respectable speed of 2.91 seconds per sleeve. This is about the same speed as its closest competitor, the Game Plus products sleeves. And I didn't feel like there, I had any issues with sleeving these cards. I felt like the sleeves went in just fine. So I feel like the sleeving process for these sleeves in particular are pretty good. Now that I've sleeved the cards, let's go ahead and check for uniformity and consistency. Feeling the tops of the sleeves, it feels like almost all the sleeves are uniform. And feeling the sides, there appears to be a single outlier. I don't know if you can make it out, but there is one single sleeve right here that is of a significantly different size than the others. It appears to be slightly miscut. The top edge over here is significantly taller than the edge over here and the card seems to fit a little oddly into it. So there is a bit of a lack of consistency, but it is one sleeve out of all the sleeves, and this also feels a little wider. So that's a little odd and a little troubling that there is an actual sleeve here that is noticeably different than the, all the other sleeves. But aside from this one, which when you put it in the middle really sticks out, the rest of the sleeves seem to be relatively consistent. So hopefully it's just a one-off error. Otherwise the sleeves don't appear to have any significant flaws aside from the one sleeve. There aren't any major dents or scratches or anything right fresh out of the pack. So that is a plus. For the shuffle test, I'm going to be shuffling this deck of cards 100 times and seeing how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> It took 3 minutes and 34 seconds to shuffle 
these sleeved cards 100 times. There was a bit of a double tapping issue that I had with stopping the clock, so that's why the clock reads 3 minutes and 35 seconds. And that is a modest speed of 2.14 seconds per shuffle. It's not terribly fast, but it's not the slowest either. And I think part of that is just because there is a bit of resistance to putting the sleeves into each other. You do have to make sure to use sort of an open palm sort of approach to shuffling and let the sleeves slide in on their own. Otherwise, you're gonna really have to press very hard in order to get these sleeves into each other, as you can see here. So shuffling with a mass shuffle with this size of card is gonna be challenging if you have smaller hands like me. I think if you have larger hands, this might be a bit on the easier side, but with small hands, it's gonna be straining on the forearm to hold these like this in one of your hands and then drop them into the other. But overall, I felt like the shuffle was just fine. There wasn't any real issues with the shuffling process. It was just a bit on the slow side. And the whole time I could feel this odd one single sleeve that's different from the others really sticking out. And so that was kind of a weird thing to feel. Now that I have handled these sleeves quite a bit, let's go ahead and take a look to see if there's any significant wear in the sleeves after it's handling. All right, a quick glance at these sleeves suggests that there isn't actually much visible wear. There, I did find one sleeve with a small dent in it, but other than that, I don't even see the gloss being faded from its initial handling. And so uh, I do feel like these sleeves are gonna hold up fairly well over repeated use. I don't know if the manufacturing process for these sleeves is significantly different from uh, Mayday's other sleeves, but these do seem to be of pretty decent quality in terms of their overall durability and I didn't see any split sleeves or bent sleeves or damaged corners or anything like that. I did note, aside from the single dent that I noticed on one of the sleeves, and that could have been there before, I don't 100% know, but I overall felt that the sleeves are going to be pretty decent in terms of their long-term durability. Now for the shake test, I've stacked these sleeved cards into a deck and I'm going to shake the table that they're on for about two seconds to see how well the deck holds up. Ready? Set, go. Okay, the deck slid just a little, but it doesn't look like it's gonna topple anytime soon. And that's a pass for the shake test. It's pretty predictable because cards of this size are probably more likely to hold together in a deck at this height, at least, relatively well, even though there is a slight accordion effect when you press down on the sleeves. Now we'll do the draw test. I'll draw three cards off the top and see how well the deck holds together. Ready, set, go. No problem, the deck held together just fine, as again, is pretty common for cards of the size. I think that's a pass for the draw test as well. I'd like to say that I'm relatively pleased with these sleeves. Aside from the one sleeve that is really just way different from all the other sleeves in terms of its size, and I can find it every single time because it really sticks out like a th sore thumb, this, this sleeve. The sleeves seem fairly consistent out of the package. They seem to handle about average, when it comes to sleeving and also the process of handling and shuffling these cards. They don't really stand out in any significant way, but they also don't have any major flaws and they do seem to hold up pretty well under repeated use. So again, aside from the one odd sleeve, which I can always pick out right here, again, I'm finding the same card every time, I would say that it's decent. That odd sleeve does give me some concern in terms of the consistency of the manufacturing process that there is this odd sleeve that really doesn't fit in with the rest and how do they get in here and you know how do they check the sleeves to make sure that there aren't really oddities like this. And so that does give me a little bit of concern overall in terms of the quality control for Mayday Games' sleeves, but I've always had that concern after testing a good number of their sleeves and so that's always going to be a concern of mine when dealing with Mayday. But aside from that, I think these sleeves are decent quality. And if you're looking for a sleeve that is of a moderate price and offers you moderate protection and moderate durability and I guess moderate consistency with only one real outlier, then these might be a decent sleeve for you. If this video was helpful to you, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit 
subscribe. I have surveys in the description box below if you wanna click on those links and share your experience with these sleeves or any other sleeves of it, the same size, 80 millimeters by 120 millimeters. Uh, those results will be posted up at the Innit Games' resource page. Thanks for watching. This is Refresh, and I will see you next time.